Sidrat al-Muntaha, also known as the Lotus Tree of the Furthest Boundary, is a profound and enigmatic concept in Islamic theology and the Quran. It is described as a large lot tree located at the utmost boundary in the seventh heaven, marking the point where the knowledge of the angels ends. The tree is said to be a barrier that even the angels, including Jibril, cannot pass beyond. This concept is deeply rooted in Islamic traditions and is often associated with the Prophet Muhammad's PBUH, ascension to the heavens, known as the Isra wal Miraj, where he reached the tree and was instructed by God about the five daily prayers and witnessed the angels praising Allah on each leaf, with nations residing under the shade of each leaf. The tree is believed to be a place where the Lord's angels cannot pass and where the actions of the prophets and the knowledge of the people are known. It is a point of great significance as it marks the boundary beyond which even the angels cannot proceed. This concept is often linked to the idea that the tree is a symbol of the limits of human knowledge and the majesty of God. The tree is described as a place where many things descend from, including the rivers of the world and the blessings of Allah. It is considered a legendary structure that transcends the physical and ethereal realms, with its leaves described as the ears of an elephant and its branches and fruits being magnificent. The Quran does not provide a detailed description of Sidrat al-Muntaha, leaving much to the imagination and interpretation of scholars and theologians. However, the concept is deeply rooted in Islamic traditions and is often associated with the Prophet Muhammad's PBUH, Ascension to the Heavens. According to Islamic accounts, the Prophet Muhammad, PBUH, ascended to the heavens on the night of ascension, where he reached the tree and was instructed by God about the five daily prayers. He also witnessed the angels praising Allah on each leaf, with nations residing under the shade of each leaf. The tree is often described as a place of great beauty and majesty, with its leaves and branches being magnificent. The Quran describes the tree as having leaves like the ears of an elephant, indicating its grandeur and majesty. The tree is also associated with the pen, the throne, and the one above the throne, and is described as a place where many things descend from, including the rivers of the world and the blessings of Allah. Sidrat al-Muntaha is often seen as a symbol of the limits of human knowledge and the majesty of God. It is a reminder that there are things beyond human comprehension and that the knowledge of God is infinite and boundless. The tree is also a symbol of the connection between the physical and ethereal realms and the way in which God's blessings and mercy descend upon the world. In Islamic theology, Sidrat al-Muntaha is often associated with the concept of the Barzakh which refers to the boundary between the physical and ethereal realms. The tree is seen as a symbol of this boundary, marking the point where the knowledge of the angels ends and the knowledge of God begins. It is a reminder that there are things beyond human comprehension and that the knowledge of God is infinite and boundless.